Hey, Manic Bash, 6th of August, 2019. And I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe the amount of issues I'm suddenly having with my computers and all the online activity that I do seems to not want to work these days. And it's right out of the blue, and I'm telling you that my belief is that they are, in fact, implementing the AI into the interwebs, if you will. Whatever you want to call it, things have changed. I don't know if everybody else is experiencing this, but I cannot even begin to explain to you the oddities and anomalies that are occurring when I connect to the Internet. I'm having to make this video offline and hopefully I'll be able to upload it because it's that bad. Anybody has any suggestions, I'm open. So there's that. And uh, I wanted to talk about the the temples, the Jewish 9-11, falling on 8-11, the Golden Gate, all these things that people are talking about. Have uh, There's a lot of stuff here that's been revealed to us that I just want to show you and get it out there because it's saying something we are seeing the spiritual warfare manifest that's all there is to it this is the synagogue of satan this is the devil himself that are driving these men to cause what we're seeing it's just that simple man and this is all prophesied every bit of it the random bible verse that i got the morning i started studying into this stuff the verse I got that morning was Acts 1, 9 through 11, when Jesus is taken up in the cloud. That's crazy. And he will return in like manner. Okay? The temple, the 46 years, that represents this earthly vessel. The 46, it's either earthly or heavenly at this point. This is the separation that's occurring that you need to understand. You know, you are a spiritual being. You have an eternal soul that is needing to be cleansed. And if you're not in Christ Jesus, then you're not cleansed. Therefore, you cannot be in the presence of God. Okay? You got to understand this stuff, man. Because time is really critical. I just have to stress that. And the, and the temple's both destroyed, right? One in 587 BC, one in 70 AD. Interesting. 657 years apart from each other i mean there's so much what we could do with all these numbers it's insane but in the hebrew in the concordance there uh 657 is cessation that is an end especially of the earth i thought that was quite fascinating 1949 years ago the seven sevens and all this interesting stuff the golden gate as in jerusalem Okay, now the Golden Gate Bridge also plays into all this. But the Golden Gate in Jerusalem is uh, important in everything that we see because the Jews, they believe that that's where their anointed Messiah is going to come from. That Eastern Golden Gate. According to their tradition, the Shekinah glory used to appear through that gate and it's going to appear again when the anointed Messiah comes. This is their belief, the Golden Gate, the GG77. That's just what it is, and it's the same gate that Jesus made his triumphal entry through. In Matthew 21, 1 through 11, the 777s, seven, seven, the it's everywhere, you guys, it's everywhere. And Jesus proceeded through that gate into the temple where he smacked down the money changers, priests, and scribes, which he will do again. These are the same synagogue of Satan that we're dealing with right now. That's just the way it is. And they worship the sun toward the east. Ezekiel 8 is key to all of this. I've been led to this before, and it's right here again. This is so important. The 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel, right? you got to read this stuff and pray on it because this is what we're seeing. Ezekiel 8.8, 8, the dig safe airplane that flew over my house, <laughs> which would have been, it was on the 7th of October last year, and it'll be 44 weeks exactly, 8.11. 
Okay, dig safe, 811. Big old sign on this airplane. You just can't get over this stuff, right? And again, Ezekiel 811, the 70 ancients, this is who is promulgating all of this wickedness we see in the world, you guys. This is some interesting little information here that's, that's coming forward. I'm just telling you. Donald Trump, our sitting president, was the first sitting president to visit the Western Wall. Okay? Think about that. May 22nd, 2017, up until 811, is exactly 811 days. That's not an accident. That synagogue that the 70 men of the ancients in Ezekiel 8 are in, they built this thing and dedicated it two years ago with the 70 seats in the synagogue. They actually did this. The West Wall Synagogue dedicated on 12-19-2017 to 8-11 is exactly 600 days. Noah was 600 when the flood came, right? And they intend on implementing the Noahide laws. This is what they're going to do. And a thick cloud of incense went up. What did they do the same night that they dedicated the synagogue under the Western Wall? They burned incense in the temple prescribed manner for the first time in 2,000 years. The same night that they dedicated the temple in the Western wall the synagogue the 70 ancients the incense went up this is just prophecy being fulfilled man and there's a couple things that came to mind the stone that fell from the west wall last year was just after tishbiav on uh july 23rd 723 happens to mean wall in mason right build israel great again look at this article of huckabee last year in israel building a wall with a trowel and all and the sign saying build israel great again where have we heard that before right and they're actually having a conference of 70 nations next month on september 26th you got to think about this stuff this is absolutely amazing and they're going to have this on the anniversary of the creation of the world when up here we see that the 657, the years between the two destructions, means an end, especially of the earth. And they're having this on the anniversary of the creation of the world. Think about this. Nations answer the call. The Sanhedrin, the first conference of the Organization of 70 Nations, from 811 to that conference is exactly 46 days. Again, the earthen vessel because they are of this world they are of their father the devil and it falls on the 223rd day of the year come on now turn that around and what do you get it's all spelled out right in front of our faces divide that 322 by the 70 and you get 4.6 so it's just spelling it right out which is the psalm that obama read on 9 11 2011 this stuff just never ends you guys the West Wall Synagogue, again, the 70 men of the ancients, build Israel great again. This is interesting because this came across my path. The Islamists, right, the Muslims, they're the only ones that believe that the sun will actually rise from the west instead of the east to bring in the end times and the day of judgment. Think about that, the, the Golden Gate Bridge in the west, the Golden Gate at the temple in the east right this is just all here I, I wish i could explain it better but this is out of control but this right after we have nasa come out just a few days ago saying that they're heading for a magnetic pole reversal implying that that could cause the sun to rise in the west <laughs> i mean this is just a nutbaggery again you know you can't get around it it's all right there it's just i can't spell it out in perfect detail you know what i mean and the, and some of the muslims were detained last month at the golden gate in jerusalem think about it like 33 days before 8 11 and then on 8 11 and 12 the muslims are actually having one of their biggest celebrations if you will 
the Feast of the Sacrifice on the same day, you guys, as Tishbiav. Now, the Golden Gate Bridge, okay, this is a very interesting thing. We could look at when it opened, the numbers, the 777s seven, seven, everywhere. But there's this place that overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge, right? And it's called the Legion of Honor, right? Now, look at this place. That, my friends, is a temple and an altar. That's what it is, man. I mean, straight in your face. And it overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge. This is its view of the Golden Gate Bridge. And what else is by the Golden Gate Bridge is something that I've shown you guys before. And I'm going to show it to you again. The Bennu bird, the resurrection, the rebirth. This is what they're waiting for. But this comedian, right? This Jewish comedian, Gilbert Gottfried, another GG, put out this weird video on July 11th, last month, right? And I'm going to put the clip right here. Stay off the Golden Gate Bridge on August 11th or I'll shake you down. All right, so that's just bizarre in and of itself. But these Kabbalists, they do this stuff. They do. They put it right in your face. Something may or may not happen. But it's like a game. It's like ritual to them. They're laughing at you as they put these things out in front of you. Okay? So it's definitely a day to watch in many respects. But this Binu bird I have to share with you. I had another video, like I said, that I found this in Google Earth. Or should I say, it was shown to me. Okay, and if you go on Google Earth to these coordinates right here, okay, you got to go here to prove this out to yourself. You're going to find right in the Strait of the Golden Gate. That's what it's called. It's called Golden Gate Strait. You're going to find this ritual right in the sea floor of the Bennu bird and the high priest performing the ritual, the resurrection ritual. This is what this is depicting. Quite literally is what you're seeing right there. And how it occurs and when it occurs, I do not know. But it's literally playing out in front of our faces. And we need to pay attention. That's all. And so, you know, when I saw that image right there, I, I hate even saying you can't make this up anymore. But the fact of the matter is, is you can't. I mean, this is when I captured this image. October 13th, 2017. That's when that image was revealed to me. And that is literally 666 days from 8-11-2019. You can't get over that stuff, you know. The phoenix that everyone knows, that derives from the Bennu bird. Okay? But the Bennu is literally, it's linked with the sun, creation, and rebirth. And the phoenix bird comes directly from the Bennu bird. Okay? So this all ties together. All of it ties together. So yes, I'm looking at this entire week. I'm looking at every day. And 811 is absolutely one day to really watch. So I needed to share this with you guys. Hopefully this uploads and hopefully it makes sense. Just be in Christ, always praying, always seeking the face of the Father in heaven and your steps will be guided through his Holy Spirit. Praise God. Amen. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 